Hi everyone and welcome to Mr. Oz's fish room. Uh, today I'm just kind of meandering about the uh, fish room here and um, my pupper's out today. He's cruising around. Gave him a little something to eat so um, of course he's out. Um, let's see if I can get him to come back out here again. Um, I think so. Uh, kind of ask him to come out um, by uh, showing him a piece of food. Um, he's so cool. He usually just sits around and waits for um, waits for something to cruise by so he can basically ambush it. Since he's a, a worker. He doesn't really swim around that much. Um, I have to say, I am surprised. I thought he would be a little bit more active, but doesn't have a whole lot of tricks up his sleeve. Um, maybe I need to change his tank around a little bit and make it a little bit more stimulating for him. pretty funny when he comes out my um my Oscar who is just about two feet away from him and another tank sits there and, and looks at him That's the only way I can really get him to come out is entice him with some food. But we'll say this to anybody considering getting a puffer with this particular species. Um, again, he, he doesn't do a whole lot. Um, you just kind of sit around in their tank and... Uh, I guess I sleep most of the time. Um, I can't see him a lot of the times because I provided him with a PVC cave and um, he usually goes in and I know he's in there because I can see half of his body protruding still. But um, yeah, he just, I think he likes it in the dark. 
because that's what he normally does. The fact that he's swimming around like this is it's kind of, um, you know, cool. It's not very common. I mean, I don't walk in the room and see him swimming around much. So this is kind of nice. I have given him a few little pieces of cut up shrimp, so he is a little bit um, puffier than he normally is. So I'm just going to kind of let the camera run and just watch him for a while and see what he does. He's funny looking, that's for sure. I have no idea what he's doing. Now, I see him do this once in a while. I don't know, maybe it's his uh, daily workout regimen. I need to do a little bit of research on this guy. A little bit more anyway. He seems really happy, but... Um, I don't know, I'm still curious to know more about him. I mean, I did enough research originally, of course, before I bought him, and um, went through, you know, the process of preparing for him, getting him a tank, making sure it was the right size, the temperature was good, you know, the water parameters are right. So, yeah, this is basically just for uh, all you uh, puffer fish hobbyists out there and people who like this fish and just want to enjoy the video. Um, as some of you probably well, no, um, this particular fish has never been bred in captivity. Um, and, and I may have said this before, but I did buy him knowing that he was a wild fish. So, he was originally from the wild. Supposedly from Southeast Asia. Okay. Well, we're running into about nine minutes here, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you for tuning in, everyone.